So, if you've gotten fat over Christmas, um, like I did, by eating all the Christmas candy and eating all the gym equipment, then this might be a good start if you want to start making changes in your diet and your nutrition. Uh, I just went grocery shopping in the past two days and I'm gonna show you what I, sh what I eat, how I shop, what I buy and just kind of give you a little guide of what food means to me and what nutrition means to me. So, as you can see, like majority of the stuff here is just vegetables. I believe that vegetables and fruits should be the base of the diet simply because uh, you can eat so much of them, you can eat such a high volume of those foods for almost zero calories and they have such a great benefit for the body. They give you so many macro, not macro, micronutrients like vitamins and minerals and they will fill you up. You can eat the entire bowl of spinach and carrots and stuff like that and lettuce and you will basically not be getting almost any calories in and the you know outcome of the vegetables fuck no <laughs> outcome of the vegetables so you can eat the entire bowl of spinach basically and carrots and other vegetables and it will fill you up a lot give you a lot of vitamins a lot of nutrients a lot of fiber which will keep you full and you're not getting almost any calories in um, which means that you know you can be you can be healthy you can be dropping weight that in my opinion is the best to um, to losing weight. So let's get in, let's get into the actual items. So as you can see here, I have a lot of different vegetables. So like right here, for example, I have broccoli. Broccoli is very usable for uh, stuff like stews, stir fries, uh, or just put it raw in a salad. So you don't need to cook it. That's why I like broccoli. Right here, I bought a big ass bag of broccoli. Uh, we bought this in Sam's Club. It's just a great deal. It's gonna last us for a while. Uh, this frozen broccoli, the benefit of this is if you buy a big, a big bag like this and opposed to a broccoli like this per pound, which is priced per pound, here you're only paying for the broccoli florets or for the crowns um, per weight. Here, because it's priced per pound, you're also paying for this like a green stem or whatever it is. So you're actually getting less of these broccoli crowns than if you just buy them frozen. But I mean, they taste different. Some people are kind of, you know, weird about eating frozen food. I don't mind, I'm living on a budget, so this is a good option for me. So other vegetables which I have here is these pre-packaged pre salads. They're for 99 cents. Here I have spinach. Spinach is also great to use in omelets, to use in salads, to use just throughout the day. If you want a snack, you can do a quick spinach with eggs and some chia seeds or whatever. You can just uh, utilize this in a lot of different ways. Hey, you got another vegetable spring mix. And another thing which I just found out this Christmas is very utilizable, I guess, is cabbage. Now this costs like a dollar sixty or something. It's great for stir fries. Um, we started making it this Christmas with like shredded carrots and broccoli and lentils or beans, stuff like that, or with tuna. And it actually gives you a lot of volume, great addition, um, you know, a lot of food for almost no price. So that's why I got all of these items. Now, then I have stuff here like, you know, green onions, they go well with a lot of stuff. Uh, I have cucumbers, they're usually, I mean, they're almost for free. This is for like 40 cents a cucumber. So you got the three huge cucumbers for like a dollar. Then tomatoes. Those are kind of like my go-to vegetables, which I put into stir fries. Uh, I mix them with other foods when I do them in a pan, or I just put it in salads, uh, which I eat, you know, numerous times a day. So that's kind of like the biggest base. So let's move on to like the, some of the carbohydrates. In the end of each semester, um, that's the great thing about living in America. You can buy this huge, you know, bag of rice for like five dollars. You can buy a 25 pound bag like I was talking about in, in one of the earlier videos. Uh, you can buy this bag of rice or you can buy big bags of beans like this. We got black beans and pinto beans in a drawer. We, all, we already opened them so I don't want to show them in the video. But you can buy those bags for a very cheap price and they're literally going to last you the entire semester and you know, for me personally, um, I do live on a budget, I'm a student, and even though I work, you know, I work part-time jobs, I still, it's, you know, I don't have that much money to spend on food. So, like, if you, if you watch some of the other um, uh, people on the internet or whatever, like, oftentimes you're following their nutrition plan and you see that they're eating 
you know, salmon twice a day and then they're eating uh, crab legs and a lobster for, for breakfast and dinner and it's just like those items are probably good for somebody who is working full time and who's not willing to and who is willing to like sacrifice a big chunk of money to put into nutrition but for somebody who lives on a budget for students or who just or for families who are trying to save up money this in my opinion is a great option you don't have that much variety like I'm gonna be eating beans the entire semester but I mean they're full of protein they're great sources of carbs they're gonna fill you up their fiber so it's like it's a great food which kind of replaces the more expensive items like buying beef every week or buying chicken all the time or buying fish another carbohydrate sauce sauce <laughs> another carbohydrate sauce right here uh, is lentils and peas kind of the same thing as beans it's just a great alternative to protein uh, or for vegetarians or vegans who you know are looking for sources of protein into their diet peas beans lentils stuff like seeds stuff like that great to include in a diet right here these are the seeds um, I have chia seeds flax seeds sunflower kernels let's move on to the fruits fruits are great as snacks um, or in the morning uh, for breakfast to get energy to get some of the carbs get some of the vitamins and stuff like that so here Bananas, very cheap. Oranges, apples, good for snacks to take to school, take in your backpack. Flatbreads are good to make like sandwiches, 100 calories per wrap. Then we have fats in here. Oh, another carb, couscous. <laughs> I realized that couscous is one of the easiest things to prepare um, instead of rice. Rice you just put in a rice cooker and you know press the button down, it's gonna start cooking with, and within like 20 minutes it's done. However, couscous, all you have to do is put it in a bowl and then pour some warm water on top of the couscous and let it sit for five minutes um, with like the bowl covered. A great food, 99 cents each for two dollars. Pasta, again, buy it in a bulk, save a lot of money. Quick oats, oats are just great for from shakes, from breakfast to you know late night, whatever, if you need a shake or something. They're just great food to utilize in your kitchen creations. So let's get into the, the fats here. I got olive oil, again, bought it in a bottle, good price, this cost like $10. Another source of fat are peanuts, here we bought two different types of peanuts, these are just dry roasted, without salt, without any flavor, these are, if you want a little bit of flavor, they're honey roasted. Fat is the most calorie per gram of fat macronutrients, which means that one gram of fat basically equals to seven calories in opposed to four calories in proteins and four calories in carbohydrates. So if you, you know, if you stock up on peanuts and olive oil and avocados, fat sources, make sure you measure it properly. How do I say it? Like if you eat, if you basically eat too much of it, like it's gonna add calories really, really quickly because it's a high calorie food. Another thing here, my protein peanut butter, um, another fat source, Again, measure it precisely. Don't. Go, it's very easy to go over the top of the serving size and just bulk up on calories without you even knowing it. If you're lactose intolerant, I use. Um, I like almond better because it doesn't mess up with my stomach or anything. It's good for smoothies um, and you know other drinks, and just a good alternative to a regular cow milk. Doesn't have as much protein, but if you're lactose intolerant, what you're gonna do? Some of the protein sources, because I'm living on a budget, you can buy, if you like... Okay, so here are some of the protein sources. I have tuna cans right here, they're usually very cheap. This is not the best tuna, however, you know, for again, for somebody living on a budget. So here I have kuna... Uh, kuna. Here I have kuna cans. Here I have two tuna cans, um, which... Again, go great with a lot of stuff. And then it's kind of buried in here. However, here I have shit ton of yogurts. Another cheap protein alternative. This whole box of 60X, um, they're large eggs, large white eggs. You can make a lot of omelets out of this box. Great protein source in the morning, I love. So that's another protein source. And then as a main protein source, um, I'm gonna be using more beans, more lentils, and more um, plant-based proteins simply due to the fact that I'm trying to save up money, buy a better camera than this Samsung phone I'm shooting on right now. That's an alternative to, to chicken or to beef, to pork and stuff like that.
<laughs> low fat mozzarella cheese goes great in omelets um, has a bunch of protein in it and another thing turkey bacon this is smoked bacon or whatever it doesn't have many calories and have some protein so for example if you like to eat it with eggs you know you can make a high protein low calorie breakfast utilizing some eggs a little bit of cheese some spinach stuff like that throwing some bacon in there so great for fat loss or just bodybuilding in general I got some frozen blueberries, good in oatmeal, stuff like that, and I think I think that's about it. So yeah, and a little quick note: these are my protein flavor drops. I talked about them in other videos. Now this might sound like a rabbit food or like a boring food or whatever. It depends on what you make with this food. You can make a lot of different variations, and you can use a lot of flavor with seasonings and with different oils. So just because this is like a rabbit food, which some people call it, it doesn't mean it has to be boring food. You can make it very creative. And if you're a little creative in the kitchen, you can make a lot of different recipes, which are gonna taste great and are gonna be actually really healthy for you instead of processed food. These little flavor drops from my protein, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just telling you my experience with these flavor drops. If you're, for example, eating um, oatmeal or if you're, using, I don't know, yogurt or cottage cheese in your diet, drinking smoothies or protein shakes. This adds a tremendous amount of flavor without actually putting the item in there. So for example, this is a flake drop of natural chocolate flavor. So instead of you eating a chocolate, you can make a vanilla protein smoothie and then use a few drops of these and it's gonna taste like a, you know, like a chocolate milkshake. I'll link the the link to those in the description box below the video and they're they're very utilizable so hey guys this is it um, thank you very much for watching i wanted to just kind of show you what i'm gonna be eating and kind of what my view of nutrition is and what my view of the healthy nutrition is so i'm just gonna stock up on all these healthy foods and vegetables and fruits and even though I'm not gonna be eating this that much meat I'm gonna be making uh, you know you can make a lot of progress uh, without you know eating only plant-based or only meats or whatever but this is just an alternative for people who are living on a budget who don't have that much money to spend on nutrition in general so thank you very much for watching if you if you liked it give it a like if you want more content um, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you wish I'm gonna be posting videos about fitness, nutrition, cooking and stuff like that. So thank you very much again guys and see you later.